Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Purpose Your Passion, for fueling your passion and helping you in cracking the interview. Today, one of my friend is here, Chanchal Jain. She is going to share how you can crack the interview of the Infosys. Earlier, also I recorded one video of Infosys how I crack my interview. This, uh, the video which I have recorded earlier, this is for the purpose of associate consultant role. Uh, basically, it is a SAP finance role, and uh, Chanchal has joined uh, as an associate finance role and. Uh, she is working with a revenue assurance group. She is going to tell you how you can crack the interview, what are the type of the questions and all those stuff, which we are also covered in earlier videos also. Hi, Chanchal. Hello, Ujwal. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure that you give your time and help me to help out the other charters also for cracking down the interview of the uh, Infosys for the Associate Finance. And uh, like before we... Um, I, doing wasting of time let's go for further like how many rounds involved in that particular infosys for that particular role and uh, how you get that particular job okay so i've joined as a lateral so i had been through two rounds of interview that is technical and hr round so technical round is basically checking your skills your concepts understanding and your problem solving attitude uh, see, in this, the questions will be based on your resume and area of interest. And uh, whereas HR round, it basically deals with your educational background check, then your CTC negotiations and expectations from Infosys. Okay. And how you get the job? On campus, off campus or by which means? Uh, off campus, it was. Off campus. Uh, which platform you used for getting that I particular job? LinkedIn. So I would advise everyone to so keep your LinkedIn profiles updated and uh, there's definitely a chance you get the job via LinkedIn. And as you said, like uh, there are two rounds basically involved for this particular role. So in first round, technical round will be involved. What type of technical questions they asked? Okay. So which areas in... they, are, they are covering and uh, what type of questions they asked? In a technical round, first, they asked me the general questions like, tell me about yourself, give a short introduction. So that is the very more, very first question asked. In that, I would like to tell you that make it short and crisp. By short, I mean not too short. Just give the de information which makes the opposite person excited to know more about you. And don't give the things which are written in your resume. Give it something apart from it. So first question was, tell me about yourself. And then the, he asked me, uh, the HR asked me, what were the work areas during your article ship? So uh, what were the work areas given? And then uh, what were the type of industries you have worked in and the respective turnovers, just to check the complicity, if any. And then uh, the general questions like, what were your strengths, weakness, and uh, any leadership role you have played in your article ship form? Then any kind of uh, major finding you got while doing audits. So these were the questions asked related to my article ship. Then coming to Infosys, they asked me that, uh, what do you know about Infosys? So make sure that you know about the company. Make sure you go through the website, their vision, mission, and the, the recent updates or amendments given by them. Uh, what do you know about Infosys? Then who are the competitors of Infosys? Who has the upper hand among the competitors? That was also even asked. Then they asked me the uh, financials, like what was the revenue for the past quarter? These were the questions as related to Infosys. Then coming to conceptual understanding, uh, main questions were asked based on India's 115 and 116, that is revenue recognition and leases. So make sure your India's is strong, especially these two concept based uh, then uh, they asked me what are your thoughts when you come to auditing like uh, you have done audit of a particular concern what will you check give me the scope give me the checklist it base it entirely depends on your resume what you present to them so in case you present that yes i have done auditing or i have done gst they will ask you questions based on that so make sure that you don't bluff in your resume and write what you have actually done and uh, then uh, the HR also asked me questions regarding import, export, rupee appreciation and depreciation. These were the questions. And very general questions like uh, one of the question was that uh, what will you check in the financial statements before investing into the company? Like what are your investment decisions? So the questions were really general and really basic. 
So there is nothing like I have to go through the books or anything apart from the Indies. Indies, you have to refer to the books. Apart from that, just your financial general knowledge will be asked. So these since were the working, questions. Since you are working in Revenue Assurance Group, it might be possible that they are basically going to cover Indies 115. Yes. Because revenue is how you are recognizing one of the case studies which i remember like uh, the famous case study which is generally asked by the enforcers uh, interviewer is like uh, we are dealing with a particular company a contact is going to be there and uh, how you are going to recognize the revenue of that particular contact so you need to cover the five step models yes exactly five steps which are that particular how you are recognizing what are the steps whether the contract is present or not probability MOP, SOT. So you need to cover all those points, go by step by step. So it will be useful for the revenue assurance group if you are going because recognition will be there. Exactly. So that's the thing also that they might cover uh, based, based on the my past experience. It like also I depends on the uh, post you're applying, group you're applying for. Like uh, Infosys has many groups. I have joined for revenue assurance. So their uh, main scope was on India's 115. Whereas when you join other groups, make sure that you are updated with that respective knowledge. Like in Infosys, like there are the various groups, like uh, SOX is also there, internal audit is also there, corporate finance is also there, business finance is also there, fp is there, revenue assurance group is there, SAP finance rule is there. So like the various department, technology analyst is there. So we can't figure out like uh, for which role they are going to ask because it's like we are generally covering what's the question that may be asked for a particular role. If it can't be specified. Like we can't create each video and accordingly we are covering, you can go through the multiple videos which are already available on my YouTube channel. So it will be helpful. Like it, they may, they might ask you related to that particular thing or uh, those points which are generally covered and which are the recent ones. So you can go through like that. And uh, Infosys also have the recruitment drive going on for the associate finance for different role also. In the revenue assurance group, it is also going. Yeah. So you can use this particular video for the reference and use it also. And how you prepare yourself, like uh, uh, even if I don't talk about the infosys for other companies you might have up here. So what are the sources you have used for that? Uh, resources was I give special importance to accounting standards, all the accounting standards, not uh, specially preferencing anyone. Mm -hmm. So give special importance okay. to your accounting standards. Sorry, you were telling something. Are you talking about standards or Indies? Sorry? Indies, Indies. I'm asking. Yes, nah? okay. Indies. Like, uh, in some of the interviews which I appeared for, they are asking about accounting standards. So, intermediate, like accounting standards are the different one. Indies are the different one. Different one, yes. So, yeah. uh, special preference so, to Indies. Okay. And then uh, one point I would like to mention regarding the Infosys interview is go through the fact sheets released by Infosys, which are uh, released every quarter. So that will be really helpful for you. Go through the fact sheets. They will definitely ask from it. I can assure you that. And then go through yeah. the Infosys website. You, uh, you must know at least the basic details regarding the founder, listing, basic details are must because, of course, you're joining this uh, big company, so you have to do a little background check also, right? And you need to be updated regarding it. And then, uh, as I said, huh, coming to the conceptual part, go through your NDAs and revise your uh, basic concepts. Uh, like, you, you don't have to go in deep, but whenever a question is asked, make sure that you know it. So go through your costing, go through your taxation, give importance to taxation, indirect and direct. You don't have to go in deep, but you have to know the upper cream part of it. And then your confidence matters a lot in this. So make sure, sometimes you tend to, you know, uh, get nervous. In fact, you'll be knowing the answer, but you, you get nervous. So that creates a question mark uh, in front of your HR that does she or he really know the answer or is she making up it? So make sure you're confident. And in case you don't know any answer, you can openly say that I don't have adequate knowledge on it, but I will work out if given a chance. So that will definitely impress your HR. You don't have to fake it and don't bluff anything. Just be honest.
and uh, your resume matters a lot because whatever you present in your resume most of the questions will be asked from your resume like i have mentioned that i know uh, the strike off procedure of a company so they ask me the questions related to it so whatever you mention in your resume they can definitely ask from it if you mention something you don't know then be ready because you never know questions might come up from it so don't bluff anything and uh... resume if you are applying for the revenue assurance like uh, profile so they might ask you the question related to the contracts uh, unbilled revenue contracts and uh, deferred revenue yes and because they are like uh, dealing in those stuff regularly on regular basis and uh, 116 is also there so they have a module for that for real estate so they might ask you how you recognize the that particular thing that they might sublease that particular thing so it will be dealt by india's 116 or india's 115 so accordingly you need to give the answer like uh, it is dealt by the india's 116 yes so depending on the situation like uh, they they might they might create a scenario based on the context because uh, they are dealing with the foreign clients also so they might ask you like uh, exchange fluctuations and all those stuff as well as yes. per my opinion like they might ask you there is a wider scope for questions because uh, there there are foreign clients involved so they'll definitely ask you the exchange rate terminologies and uh, conversions related to that so you can go to india's 21 as well for the revenue recognition yes yeah. all the related they might are to be covered yeah. they might ask you also the fund and uh, have you done any type of like case study practice or something like that Uh, uh being honest i haven't done any case study practice but uh, you can i can assure you that by just going through the references uh, what are given on the internet that uh, india's 115 what are the explanations are given based on that if your concepts are strong you can easily crack it so that uh, it is it is plus point if you go through the case study digest or the mock interviews it is a plus point but in case you're not uh, able to do it also then it's completely fine just trust your instinct and you can go for it okay thank you chancel for giving your time and coming on purposeful passion and sharing insights i yes. hope like it will be helpful for the like upcoming charter to crack down the interview of the infosys for the purpose of the revenue assurance group thank you so much thank you so much